All right, I passed a couple more cars. I figured I'd throw them on tape real quick. 66 Chevelle four-door. Uh, not sure what this is. It's a Chevy. Newer. I think it's a Monte Carlo. Is it? Yeah, no, Malibu. Yeah, it needs some work. Roof is gone. Somebody's been parting this thing out. Windshield smashed out of it. Uh, yeah. Oh, we got more cars back in there. Look at this old bus. That is an old bus right there. Looks like it was a camper. I see curtains in it. <laughs> Where out there? And of course, newer stuff. We got Tahoes. Uh, this looks like another Tahoe. Nice thing that I noticed, though, I haven't run into any spider webs out here. Another cab for something. It says no on it, whatever that means. Uh, I'm sure he'll sell it, though. I see a, uh, a nose over there. I gotta check it out, or a fender. Uh, I think we've seen these already. Yeah, oh, there's another El Camino in there. All right, let's get out of this part of the woods. That looks like a nose for a 63 Chevy. Oh, there's only about a fender left. Rear end for something. Don't have a clue what all this shit is. I guess he was cutting metal. I don't know. Couple C10 fenders over there. Uh, that's some kind of machine. He's got a. Damn, he's got cars everywhere. Shit. Looks like 56, 57 uh, fender right there or something. No, that's a forward fender. Sheesh. I'll tell you, I, you know, I gotta say, this is one of my favorite places to be, is in a junkyard. <laughs> I know it's pretty, to most people it's pretty lame, but, old Jeep sitting up on top of some stuff. I hate to go back here, there's more of these damn briar stuff going on. Alright, there's a Ford, junker back there, newer stuff. I see something older over here. I want to look at it and see what it is. Oh, it's a Mercedes. Okay. Another, uh, it's like 70, between 71 and 72. Maybe, yeah, something like that, Chevy. Damn briars. Here we go. Oh, ouch. Oh, damn, this is all briars. Uh, I saw those Pintos from here, but I'm still thinking those are the Pintos that I saw on the other side. So I'm going to ignore that right now. Yeah, I didn't come dressed for this. I was just heading back home and uh, I saw this on the side of the road, so I decided to stop in. And the guy says, feel free to walk around. He says, he's got to go. So he's even leaving me here. Uh, he lives by himself. All right. Don't know if I've come down here before, but here's a uh, Valare. 70, I don't know, 677 maybe? Probably got no motor in it. <laughs> nope, it does. Slant 6 again. It's a Monte Carlo right there. Uh, used to get a lot of newer stuff. I don't know why. Okay, here we go. Now we're going down a different road. I'm technically lost right now. <clears throat> We got a Winnebago. Looks like the front's been taken off, so the motor's probably been pulled. It's probably a 440. Let's take a look and see if the motor's in it. Nope. Here you go. Probably was a 440. Another GMC over here. 72. I'm going to say step side. That's a good looking little truck. Still got the hubcaps on it. Hmm, better take a closer look at that one. 
Seat's still in it. Column's still in it. Keys are even in it. Need the dash. I would, I would assume the motor's in it. Let me look. Yeah, six cylinder. And by the looks of it, it's all, it's all here. God, my legs are eating up. I'm sure there's stuff beyond the, these woods. Uh, there's cars out there. I just, I hear a spring or something running. Creek. All right, let me walk around. Looks like a big international truck there. Yeah, a lot of new stuff here. This tree fell a while ago. Uh, I don't see nothing really old over here. But I'm going to walk through. I might see something pop. A little van Chevy van over there. Oh, there's an old uh, Toyota Tercel back there. The red one. See it? Those are cool little cars. And that's about a 82. That's probably worth a few dollars. I'm gonna ask him about that too. Last registered. Look at those tires. Look pretty good on the back. Uh, March of 09. Front end looks screwed up. Like uh, the motor's out of it or something. Oh, get a flat tire. That's what it is. Shifter's still in there, the seats are still in it. I'm not sure if it's a Tercel, let me see. Yeah, it is. Uh, I've had one, that's why I knew what it looked like. Uh, let's see how you open this damn hood. Phew! There the motor. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask him about that too. Old blazer. I think we just looked at that truck, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <clears throat> just took a face full of branches. All right. And what happened was I didn't start this video at the beginning of when I first walked in here because um, I was just taking pictures. And then I said, well, let me make a video for YouTube. Yeah, all newer stuff here. Some Jeeps. A lot of Jeeps. You get a lot of Jeeps. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of Jeeps. I like the white one. I used to have one of those. White one. Or that year. <clears throat> and there's another Mustang. I don't know if I showed you that already. But I'm coming through here a different way. Yeah, that was it. All right, let me get back up to the front so I can show you some other pictures of stuff. There's something. What is that silver car? Huh, what is that son of a bitch? Oh, it's a Mitsubishi. Oh, Mitsubishi. He's just got so much stuff. This I'm interested in looking at. This is a looks like a GTO to me. Uh, I'm not sure though. Looks like the frame's been redone and dropped here. Needs floors. Back floor for sure. Trunk. Yeah. Rent still in it. It's a uh, <clears throat> two four. Six, eight, ten, ten volt. All right. We got some. Uh, this is this is where I came in. So this is the beginning. We got this old 
step side here falling apart doors seem to be missing this one here one door is missing you got a trailer I don't know what's in it there's a Pontiac transmission right there yes sir it's a BOP might be able to get that out of them oh there's another one another something under what is that oh, that's a Chevy bunch of trannies under here three three or four trannies more trannies over here look at this old fuel gas pump yeah gas pump laying right there another tranny block tranny here's an engine frame another engine right here older one and there's a uh, we got lots of engines over here these fenders and stuff are for 55 56 Chevy doors truck uh, that truck hood looks like it's for a GTO or something could be that yellow one down there. yes it is that's what it's for Yep, there it is, and there it is. <coughs> so I need to try to buy it from the guy. <coughs> he's got grills, he's got bumpers, he's got everything. Nice old car back in there. I took pictures of it, I'll post them also. A couple of uh, El Camino and a Another Chevy truck. I didn't go down this way. Here's some more stuff. There's an old 55 or 56. He's got a nice blue one over there. Uh, that hood looks like it's to a Mustang, but I don't know. For sure. Another Chevelle body over there. Oh, that's the hood, yeah. Roof us out the window. Uh, yeah. Let's see, yeah. That's it, I'm done. I'm back up at the top. Uh, I don't know if there's anything here you all can see. I don't think he's selling this blue one. He, he drives it, I think. They even got signage here. Uh, Coca-Cola. And more engine blocks. And this is a four-bolt main right here. Uh, Chevy. No, no, that's a two-bolt. That's a two-bolt. Yeah, those are four-bolt caps for something. Another Coca-Cola sign. That looks like a piece to piece. There's a couple pieces there. Been shot at. car over here I want to buy but he won't sell it uh, another Phillips sign big one looks like hug caps in there for something there's a shell sign in there too railroad signs <coughs> here's a bumper 69 uh, 70 Chevelle This one's faded away. Let's see what this back one is. Yeah. I feel like, uh, well, they're metal.
All right, this wagon I want to talk to him about too. Is that a Chevy? Yeah, it's a Chevy. Oh, he's got a Mustang. Oh, that thing looks, or no, that's a Nova. Here's a 66, he won't sell. Will not sell it. I'd love to have this. Of course, it looks like the floor has been redone. In the trunk. And in the front part, this has been redone. Got the nice little hood on it. Got a 65 convertible out there. I'll show you that in a minute. Let me go look at this barn real quick. Here's a frame for something. Oh, it's cut. Uh, I can see a hood, doors, something in here. I don't know what the, what the hell that's for. Engine, tranny. See something over here, I can't tell what it is. I gotta go over and look at it. Uh. Alright. Damn. General system. Old phone truck. Look at this thing. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that thing is on the top though. Yeah, this thing's uh, has been parted out. Oh, that's the Thunder 4 right there. That's what I've seen. Yeah. I'm going to take the Thunder off. Oh, this must be where he lives. Huh. I'm guessing. It's a house down there. In the driveway. All right, I think that's it. Uh, oh, no. Let me get up to the front. Show you them cars up there real quick. Four or five up there, but he's not selling. Uh, he's only parting out the Nova that's up there. And he's selling the 66 Chevy. Oh, 66 Chevy, not 65. 66 convertible. Here's another two door, well, crushed roof. Uh, what? So it almost looks like it could have. Wow, uh, almost looks like a fastback. <laughs> I bet you I can get that off of cheap. Damn tree fell on this one, bitch. The floors look really nice. Just the center part of it does. Huh. Monte Carlo, 84 or so. Here's the 66 convertible, which he's selling. Impala, two door. Needs a bunch. Looks like a lot of chrome in the back seat of it. The floors are gone, which I knew, looking at a damn convertible sitting out in the weather. The trunk is gone, yeah. It needs a whole lower end. Here's a couple of Lincolns. There's a convertible and a hardtop or a uh, post or whatever that is. He's not selling this. That was his father's truck. And uh, that's it. We are back to square one. to know that he's only selling parts off of. And that's it folks. I'll try to get you some information if you're interested in anything.